Howdy folks, welcome back. So let's do another update for our quest display system because I I knew I was forgetting something and somebody asked if we could add the objectives in here so the player can see what they're going after. So let's do that. So I've opened my quest screen and I'm just going to kind of reposition stuff a little bit. Maybe do this 50 by 50. Move this stuff down. Take this scroll up. Oh, take this scroll box. Move it down. Over to the right. Maybe just make the whole thing bigger. But we need to add an objectives panel. So basically just add some space in them. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm just going to add a little bit of room so that I can duplicate this scroll box. And then move it up here. That looks decent. And then this, the rewards panel inside of it, I'm just going to rename Objectives pa Panel. So you can add a text block right here that says objectives, one right here that says rewards if you like. I'm just going to move on to the, the the functionality of it real quick. That way I don't want to take up too much of your time. But right here on our view de check details event, right here we're adding the rewards panel. So what we can do is on the completed, once we add all the rewards, we can add all the objectives. So, okay, I got the quest details right here. I'm going to get that out and break it open. Now, in the quest screen, as we're obtaining the quest, I'm just going to focus on the collectibles. But when we display it to the player, we'll do it just a little bit different so we can see how many of each target we need to kill. And then we can just check the description to see what animals we need to kill. So on the completed, I am going to get the keys from my, nope, collectibles target. Now from the array, I'm going to do a for each loop. So since we're collecting items, we can use our data table up here, but since we don't have a specific item that we can access right here, the way we can do that is we can get data table row names. And this will get all of the row names inside the data table. So I'm going to do it from the item info. Item info data table. Then we will get the data table row. We can feed this in just like that. Select item info. Then we do a for each on this, I believe. Let me double check my notes, but I'm pretty sure. But before I tell you wrong, yeah, for each loop. So we'll check each row name against each array element in our key. So right here, after we get the data table row, we need to break it open and see if the class matches the class over here. So I'll do an equal sign to see if that matches. Oop. If a branch, if it does, then we can use our reward panel icon that we created. So I'll just create a widget. The widget being our reward panel icon one more time. And we'll set the item info inside that panel icon to the I item info that it finds at that row. Then let's find our objectives panel. Get that. 
because we need to add a child to that uniform grid now. The content will be the widget we created. And then we will just promote the column to a variable called O column. And then just like last time, we can increment that. Now there is one thing we need to do uh, at the beginning. We need to back this up just a little bit to make room for that O column variable to set it back to zero every time we check the details. And then we also want to go ahead and clear uh, everything in our objectives panel. So I'll get that out and I can just hook that right to that clear children at the front. So now when I jump in here and I go talk to this person. I think this was a collectibles quest. Yeah. So now it'll tell you right here that I need to collect a green herb to get a mana potion, which you can add like objectives and reward right here. Uh, but one more thing we need to do is it just has the one icon. It, it doesn't tell you how many in the objectives list. So what we can do is we can create a new well, let's just duplicate our reward panel icon so that it'll be the same size. And I'm going to call this count underscore w because I like naming conventions. Double click and open it up. Now inside here, I'm just going to, on the button, set the color and opacity. I'm just going to set that's the text. This hmm. it changes the text, but not the button. Oh, it's because I was on the wrong one. Okay. Anywho, let's just go into the graph. So this won't have any kind of hovered. It doesn't really need to have the hovered. But you know what? It also doesn't matter. I don't care. So we can get rid of pretty much all of this. I'm just going to keep the item name and text right there. And I'm going to promote it to a variable called number. So in our quest screen, when we create our widget for the reward for the objectives panel, what we can also do is we can create a widget of our count widget. I'll just do this at the end. And we'll add it to the same panel. I'm going to get number set text. That's not. Hmm. All right, so instead of doing this, I'm going to instead make that number, I'm going to make it an integer. Compile real quick, drag out, get it, and then just do just like that. So we'll just set number, oop, that's not how. So we'll just set the number just like that so that when it constructs it'll be right. So what we can do over here now is we can get our values. Let's just go ahead and get it right here at the beginning, I guess. And we will get a copy. I'm going to add a reroute node right there. So let's get copy of the array index from the same element or from the same index that we find this so it'll be way over here and move this way over and we can set number right there we will need to wait to increment the column 
but we can leave the O column set right there because it's going to be in the same column it'll just be in one row down so that's um, all right so I'm going to grab out my nope got one right here may as well just use it add child to uniform grid the new content will be the count uh, 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 anyway okay so I'll just use another of the O column right here and then the row I'm just gonna hardwire as one then we can just plug that right there rearrange some of these wires not gonna worry about it too much right now but now when I come in here That tells me three. That looks horrible. That looks absolutely terrible. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of the button. I'm not gonna get rid of the button. I'm gonna figure out a way to make the button not look like total crap. Tint, maybe? Hey. And I'll make the uh, the text a little bit so it's bold. Let's see, I'm going to try italic and maybe increase the size of it, double it. And let's take a look. Well, it has a line around it for some reason. So I just went under the normal draw as none. Oh, maybe that'll work. Draw as none. And I set the tint just to zero. So I'm going to do the same thing on the hovered. Draw as none. Tint alpha zero. And then pressed just the same thing. So alpha zero. That sounds like a war game or something. Alpha zero. And then draw as none. Alpha. Yeah, it looks better. So that's how you can add a little object. Like I said, you can add the text right here. Say objectives and rewards. If you want to see how, to, how you do that, just, you know, drop a text. Kablam. And then I'm just going to call this one objectives. Set the size to like say 20. We can size this one to content so that it's easier to finagle with. Is finagle a word? It's going to be today. I'll just duplicate it. Drop it down right here. Drop it, drop it low. I'll never say that again. Reward. Alright. Oh, rewards. Uh, probably. All right, and then just like that, you got your objectives list right here, rewards panel right here. It's all well and good. Let me check that scroll box, see which way it scrolls. Horizontal. Okay. You can have them scroll horizontal or vertical, whichever way you prefer. So just the way to do that is highlight the scroll box, go to the orientation, and then you can select. So now let's jump in and take a little look-see. Neat. Oh, you, I might reposition those, but other than that, that's looking pretty cool. All right. So now in the next one, we'll go over how to do it in the display for the player. Because uh, did we s we set up a quest log? I think right. Yeah, we got the quest log. So we'll we'll set up the details panel and stuff and all that jazz in here as well. So I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.